The show goes on for Nick Walenda and his circus family after this week's High Wire accident. Nick finished off Thursday night's show on the High Wire and will be back up there tonight. SNN's Nicole Somavilla joins us live in the newsroom with his reactions. Good evening, Nicole. Thanks, Grant, and good evening. Well, Nick spent his Thursday between the hospital and the circus tent preparing for last night's show, and I'm sure we can all imagine how hard it must have been for him to get back on the wire. But Nick did say it's a decision he didn't make lightly. He made it with his family's approval and their encouragement. And the king of the high wire, Nick. A standing ovation for the man of the hour as he descends from the high wire just one day after watching his circus family fall to the ground. Obviously extremely emotional. Through the entire performance, his family on his mind. The biggest challenge I'm having is that all that has to, it keeps replaying in my head over and over again. Um, but it didn't happen while I was on the wire, thank God. Even after the accident, Walinda says the wire is where he's comfortable. I can't explain it to anybody any better than that's my life. So it's like I can put everything and I've said it. I've said it so many times in interviews that it's peaceful and I'm on that wire. The hardest part? I even have had the thought of being like, like I feel selfish for catching the wire. I know that sounds crazy, but you know, these are the things that I'm going to have to deal with. Fighting through the memory of the fall, Walinda nails his performance to honor the injured, stepping off the high wire with a very emotional embrace. Yeah, so that's my cousin Blake. I mean, both of us caught the wire. Both of us had to watch that. I mean, we've been in this most of our lives together. And it's together the Walindas will triumph through tragedy as they always have. This is who we are. This is what we're made to do. This is what God created us for. I, I can't explain it. This is my this is my purpose in life. There's a lot of people that struggle with what's their purpose in life, and they, you know, they have jobs that they go to because it's about the paycheck at the end of the week. This is not a job. It's not for a paycheck. This is my purpose. This is my being. Now, Grant, as for the two patients who are still at Sarasota Memorial Hospital, their conditions are the same as yesterday. One still in critical condition, the other one guarded, but again, they are expected to make a full recovery. So, Nicole, what's the future of the eight-person pyramid? Honestly, Grant, I'm not sure. I don't even know if Nick is sure. He said he's not opposed to trying it again, but I do think it's going to take some time for those physical and emotional wounds to heal. I'm very sure about that. Nicole, thank you very much for that report.